I have managed to secure for you a review on what is probably the most anticipated product of 2015. This is the uh, first ever device made available with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor in it. It's the MDP810 tablet, it has a 4K display, it has an 8-core 64-bit Snapdragon 810 processor with the new graphics coprocessor. It is also the first device to feature 4 gig of RAM, which is uh, the 64-bit the processor is required to be able to address 4 gig of RAM. And it also has a motion sensor, a bit like the Kinect on an Xbox. So let's open it up and see what's inside the box. So there's the tablet. You can see a near-field contact sign on there. So this device is not actually available for sale unless you're a developer, and I've managed to persuade them that I am, or a reviewer. Um, this is a, uh, a test device. It's not uh, going to be the final product. It doesn't feature fully finished software either, so please don't expect too much from it. It's more of a test bed uh, prototype, if you like, uh, but you can buy this, although it is very expensive. So the tablet itself, Let's take it out of its packaging. And this is actually a very nice thin tablet with front facing speakers, as you can see here. Um, it has a 13 megapixel camera on the back and a removable battery, which is very nice. Let's just pop the battery in. Here's the battery. A massive monster 29 watt hour battery, seven and a half amp hours. Now this is going to need to drive the 4K display, so we can't expect an extremely long battery life out of this. As you can see, this is not the sort of product that you would expect to buy as a consumer, consumer item. Um, we have lots of bare cables inside. This is, as I've said before, a test bed for the 810 processor. Now, um, you may have heard reviews that the 810 processor runs quite hot and there have been problems with it. Um, I hope this isn't the case because this is a very, very much an anticipated device that we're all hoping will revolutionise ARM mobile devices uh, and enable them to be powerful enough to do pretty much the jobs we expect our desktop computers to do. However, there are issues with this. It, it's apparently prone to overheating. So it also comes with this nice looking docking station. It has here two sockets that connect to the bottom of the tablet, as you can see there. And on the back of the dock is a 12 volt DC input. On the side here we have an HDMI socket and two USB sockets. And on the other end we have a speaker out and a LAN connection. So, and also we have a GP header, JTAG, a serial and a QEPM socket. So I'm not too sure what these are for, I'll have to read up on it. The tablet itself is also equipped here with an HDMI output socket, a micro HDMI, a USB 3 socket, and on the other side, we have a headphone socket. Here is before I said on the back is the NFC tag, a dual LED flash 13 megapixel camera. And that's about it. Now, currently, this does not have um, the ability to download apps or the Play Store. It's not been certified for the Play Store because it's a development platform. So I'm going to have to sideload all the apps onto it to show you how it works. But we'll see what it's got bundled with it, and uh, I'll show you what it can do. So this is not going to be uh, quite the same as any of the devices currently on the market. Um, it's probably the most important device I've ever reviewed because it represents the entire future of... Um, ARM devices, everything is going to be 64-bit, dual, quad, or octa-core like this one um, in the next two years, and they're going to be able to address more RAM and do more of the jobs that our desktop computers do. So um, the distinction between um, Intel computers running Windows and uh, mobile devices such as this and later generations of the iPad are all going to be uh, much closer. They're, they're going to be blurs between the, the abilities of these devices and what they uh, represent what they stand for and what they can do. Right, so let's get on and have a look at this and see if we can get any apps onto here. So we have a wide range of apps already on here. And many of these I've never seen before and they probably relate specifically to um, this device. Uh, and this, yes, we've got a 64-bit tester here. 
so this is not a commercial product. It's very much a test bed. Um, it doesn't feel completely finished. It's not badly made, but uh, the screen sticks out a bit at the bottom here. Um, it's a bit wobbly there. As you can see, it's not stuck right down to the, to the tablet body. Well, I hope what we're getting here is a nice video of my messy haul. In fact, I think it is. It's actually working. It froze last time I tried to video anything. Okay, that's indoors. This is 4K video on the front camera. So this is the video quality in 4K. There we go, it's auto 